Today I'm going to be showing you how I took this $8 piece of pine from Home Depot and turned it into a nightstand. I started out by measuring and marking how wide I wanted my nightstand to be and for me in my space 16 inches was the sweet spot. The depth of your shelf again is all dependent on your space. This is a 1 by 10 by 48 inch piece of pine so the 10 inch depth worked for the side of the bed where I wanted to install this. I cut two 16 inch pieces down on my miter saw. You can actually connect these by screwing like from the top into the bottom piece, but I'm going to go ahead and use some pocket hole screws just for a tighter bond. I've walked you guys through this. I've linked the video for you. It just secures the wood a bit more. I took the piece of wood that's going to be the top of the nightstand and adjusted my table saw to be about half of its thickness so I could create a groove where you can put your phone and charge it and just have it being able to stand up and just relax whether it's an iPad or a phone. You know, I just thought it would be a cool little addition. I kept moving my fence over and scooting my piece of wood over little by little to create a thicker groove. So you just run it a couple of times until the phone, my example was my phone, fit right in there. I feel like I have a fairly thick case on my phone, so I think this was the perfect size for anybody else that was going to be staying in our guest bedroom, but now you need somewhere to be able to plug the charger in and you won't be able to do that from behind the nightstand, so I decided to drill a hole towards the back, where, like where the back of the nightstand would be, so you can kind of shimmy that cord up into there and voila. I actually had a piece of scrap wood on hand that fit in this little nook crevasse, and I put a little piece of sandpaper on the end and just sanded it until the like table saw marks were all nice and smooth in that groove. For this next part, I just clamped the back of the nightstand to the top of my workshop table and then I clamped the top of my nightstand to the outer edge of my workshop table and that creates the perfect 90 degrees for me to just be able to glue and screw this together. I gave this guy a light sanding and then I went in and stained it with one of my favorite colors. It's an ish pish. I don't know how to say that. Ish pish pine stain. It's just warm and cozy, but you can do whatever color you want. And I also finished it with a spray spar urethane. Once that was all dry and good to go, I went ahead and grabbed my drywall anchors, a power drill, a drill bit. I pre-drilled some holes into my nightstand just to make my life a little bit easier when installing. I did not have any studs in this wall, hence why I am using drywall anchors that will be able to just hold it nice and secure so if someone were to put their elbow or something on it, it wouldn't just fall out of the wall. That is why you need drywall anchors if you don't have a stud. <laughs> Anchors are in the wall. I popped the screws through the pre-drilled holes of my nightstand, was able to push them into the anchors and secure them with my drill, and you are done. Oh my gosh, I'm actually freaking out about this guest bedroom. I can't wait to show you, but I love this nightstand, and it just makes it so you have all this room underneath if you wanted to put a basket or you just want to leave it so it isn't like overcrowding a particular area of your room, and how like convenient is this little slot charger holder because you can like Netflix and chill on your phone if you wanted to. The only thing I would change is the placement of that hole. I would move it either just towards the front or more in the middle so you had like a natural spot to rest it if you wanted to do it in a vertical position. But other than that, this is literally one of the easiest DIYs I've done on my channel and not to mention how absolutely cheap it is. It is the perfect nightstand for literally any level DIYer. You guys got this. I will catch you next Wednesday for another DIY.